Hi folks, welcome back to Stacy Can Can. Today I am making ketchup. Why you ask? Because it tastes delicious. So I originally re misread this recipe. I thought it said 24 tomatoes, which is what I got at the store. It actually says 24 pounds of tomatoes. Big difference on the measurements here. So uh, the 24 tomatoes I got equals to just over six pounds of tomatoes. So I, I reduced everything in the measurements down below by a fourth. I've also included the link to the National Center of Home Food Preservation, and this is their ketchup recipe. So you can go ahead and have a look-see on the measurements there. You can, you can, you know, you can kind of play with the measurements a little bit, just sort of like, like I did. Well, not completely. You got to use exact measurements. So I, I use the correct measurements for this recipe, dividing it by a fourth. So I'll have both for side-by-side -side comparisons. Any whoosie wetsies. So what you're going to need, you need tomatoes and a good type. You can use really any type of a tomato, but a recommended uh, tomato for sauces and such are the paste tomatoes. A uh, common one for us in this country are Romas. So they don't have a ton of seeds. They're just, there's just a lot more, um, a lot more meat, a lot more flesh to them. So you can, you can get the most out of your tomato. But again, you can use any type of tomato you want. Um, you're going to need uh, three-fourths cups of a chopped onion, like so. Uh, so you'll need three-fourths of cup of a of chopped onion. Um, you're going to need uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of, of ground red pepper, like cayenne pepper. Uh, you will need three-fourths cups of apple cider vinegar, which I have here, um, a teaspoon of whole cloves, a three-fourths of a cinnamon stick, which is here. Um, well, and we're going to kind of crush that a little bit. I'm reading my list here. Uh, three-fourths of a teaspoon of allspice, which I got here, and three-fourths of a, a tablespoon of celery seeds, which is here. Uh, three-fourths cups of sugar and three, um, uh, three teaspoons of salt. So, uh, let's see. As far as tools go, you kind of need a lot of those today. So, you're just going to need your standard, you know, your chopstick and your headspace tool and your lid lifter and um, ladle jar lifter and your funnel right here and also you will need a big stock pot if you're doing 24 pounds of tomatoes you're going to need like a um, a four gallon stock pot which my turkey fryer is a little too big for that for stove top but you could use something like that but you do need a pretty good stock pot you're also going to need a big bowl of ice water um, because we do have to peel the tomatoes um, you're going to need a chinois or your uh, food mill or something to, um, or a sieve of some sort to put your tomatoes through. Um, a container, I am using a um, saucepan to warm, heat the lids today. And then also a saucepan to boil the, um, boil the tomatoes to help get the skins off. So let's get started. Forgot to mention that we need some cheesecloth and some twine because we are going to be making a little spice bag. So I got the water boiling so we can get ready for the, to put the tomatoes in to peel them. While I'm waiting to do that, I am putting together uh, the spice bag. So you need some cheesecloth. I've cut it here. We're going to go ahead and double, double it up because um, I am going to be using some uh, celery seeds, which is you need three-fourths of a tablespoon of. Uh, so I'm just, that's about three-fourths of a tablespoon here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on the cloth, which I have on a, a, a plate, just to make sure I can't see anything going through it. Because you do want it, you do, you do want the celery seeds to stay in the bag as much as possible. So you do want to definitely double, double the uh, cheesecloth amount here. Um, and then we also need um, three fourths of a, a stick of. Uh, cinnamon, a cinnamon stick here. So I just put, I put some of the cinnamon, a uh, stick of cinnamon into a plastic bag here, a baggie, and I just used this and I smushed it up. So we'll go ahead and dump this into some broken up cinnamon stick into the bag. We need one teaspoon of cloves, three fourths of a, of a teaspoon of allspice. So we'll go ahead and Put that in the bag. I kind of just take it like so, give it a twist if you can, and then uh, just just tie it on up. Voila, 
here's your little here's your little spice bag if you want to trim the edges the ends of this you can that's that's totally fine it might be easier um, if you want so but here's your spice bag first thing you do to, to core tomato to prep your tomato to peel them uh, you got to choke up on your paring knife like so uh, and then you go ahead and just scoop around the edge of the we're coring it so cut around the the core pull that out and then score the bottom you want to score it a couple of times pop it into the bo boiling water and it takes about 30 seconds to eh, 30 seconds to a minute just depends on the tomato to get it to the get the skin to peel as soon as the skin starts cracking on the on the tomato then you can pull the tomato out and place it in the ice bath which I've done a few here already. This one is done. See, the, the skin is already peeled off. So is this one. And so has this one. So now you notice I have a few extras in here that have already been in for a few minutes. So you, then you just gently peel the tomatoes off like so. Or peel the skins off. When they're done in the ice bath, you don't want to leave them in the ice bath for too long because they will get smushy. You go ahead and just peel the skins right off. Check that out. See? And it's still nice and whole. If you're having a hard time getting some of the peeling off like this one, go ahead and use your paring knife and you can pull it off like so. Now that we have the uh, tomatoes peeled, we're going to go ahead and just quarter them and put them in a stock pot. Got all the tomatoes in the pot here, sprinkling in three-fourths of a cup of uh, onion and a, uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. All right, I've got this up to a boil now, so what we're gonna do is uh, drop it down to a simmer, and we're gonna simmer it uncovered for 20 minutes. So the timer's gone off, I'm cutting the heat, and we're gonna let it set on the burner for 20 minutes. Now we're pouring in the three-fourths of a cup of apple cider vinegar, and I'm adding the spice, the spice bag here. And we're just gonna bring this to a boil. And as soon as it boils, we'll put it into the pot here. The vinegar is done boiling, so we're gonna remove the spice bag, pour the mixture into the ketchup here, or to the tomatoes in the pot. We'll bring it to a boil. All right, we got a boil going here, and so I've set the timer for 30 minutes. It says to boil for about 30 minutes, so I've set the timer for 30. The tomato mixture is done boiling for 30 minutes, so I'm scooping it out, and we gotta, we gotta use the chinois and, and get rid of the, or chinois, I always say it wrong. Or you can run it through a food mill, but uh, we gotta remove the pulp from it, or remove a lot of the seeds and a lot, some of the pulp and such, so. I put all the tomatoes through the sieve. We return it back to a pot. the pot. We're gonna go ahead and add three-fourths cups of sugar to this and three teaspoons of salt. And give it um, a good stir. We're gonna bring it, bring it to a gentle boil. And you wanna boil it until it's about half this consistency um, or until it mounds on a spoon. So, but you do need to keep stirring as it boils. So I got the jars out of the, uh, the canner here. I just pulled one out, we're keeping it heated. The ketchup is done. You wanna do, you wanna get it to where the, it mounds. It mounds on the spoon and it's mounding quite nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, get it bottled up here. So we're gonna fill the jar. We're doing a 1 8 of an inch head space. So, got to be real, get it all the way up to the top for that, which actually I think it did a pretty good job there. 
Going to go ahead and wipe around the edges here. We are doing a quick bubble. And you want to make you we're going to use a headspace tool. Yep, we're doing pretty good there. And I do have a mixture of vinegar and water here. Got to make sure we get this cleaned real good. Get the rim cleaned. Add your lid. I've had those heating up. And finger tight with the with the ring or the band and gently put it into the canner. And the jars in the canner. I've got the canner turned up to high and it's on a rolling boil and I've set the timer for 15 minutes. Timer's gone off and I let the canner sit for five minutes without the lid on. It just kind of helps to settle the contents in the canner and in the jars. And we are removing the jars. Oh my goodness. This is very pretty. It's a little more tomatoey than like, you know, ketchup can be kind of, I think ketchup looks really red. This doesn't as much, but it's still pretty. And this is tomato ketchup. So thank you for joining me today. It's very tasty. Uh, I really do enjoy homemade condiments. Some folks prefer the store-bought and that's fine. Everybody has their own, their own taste, but this is quite tasty. So please like and subscribe below. The recipe is also below. And um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, by all means, reach out to me. I'm on Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can at me on Instagram and TikTok at Stacy Can Can. My website is www.stacycancan.com and my email is info at stacycancan.com. Thanks again for joining me today and until next time, happy canning.